By clicking on this video, you're officially a part of the mission. Over the past three weeks, we've been thrifting quality low-cost items in an effort to flip it for a profit on eBay. The mission is to save up $8,000 over the next three months so we can thrift our way to the USA. But to kick off the episode, we're actually gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna go and jump into a pawn shop to see if we can profit from these kind of stores. It's not something that I really do too often, so let's get into it. We'll see what we can find. One thing's for certain with the pawn shops, there's always gonna be a stack of video games to sift through. Granted, the prices will be slightly higher, but just simply getting a look at all of these really cool games is pretty exciting, so I'm glad to be here. Unfortunately, nothing in the cabinet. I had a look at all of these video games, and there were just a couple that I was able to pick out. The first one here is Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls V on the PS4. There was actually four copies, all at different price points, which I thought was quite strange, but 25 bucks on eBay, I picked that up for the $5 option. I've also got this one as well on the uh, Xbox original for $9. There was just not enough value, nor was there with Buffy at $49. So unfortunately, I just picked up the one game. Uh, plenty of toys, action figures. I did spy this random DVD set. Uh, we had Sons of Anarchy, the complete series, one to seven. So that's every single episode. And it goes for some pretty good money on eBay. You're talking anywhere between sort of $70 to $80. So happy to pick that up for 19 Guys, I actually started my flipping journey with the Funko Pops. So it was really cool cool to see so many of them in store. Had a bit of a sift and there is some really good money if you can find the right ones. And well, Steven Universe, that's a big win here. So i able to pick him up for $19 and I did some comp research and well, he goes really well. He goes for about 80 bucks in pre-owned condition. I've also got this one as well, Scarlet Witch. It's got the special edition tag on it. It's got the pop protector. $15 should turn into 75. Well, not too bad of a way to start the day, guys. Jumping into a pawn shop, it's not something I usually do, but we've come away with some success. I will quickly say that I just think the concern I've got with the pawn shops is it just takes so much longer to sift through to try and find the profit. You're always sort of working on larger scale purchase prices to try and find enough margin to make the deal worthwhile. I think everything that we've bought so far though is definitely worth it. There's enough profit to be made in it, but I have had to pay a little bit more for it. So let me know in the comments below, do you go out and source for items to sell on eBay in pawn shops? Now guys, I know that I've harped on a little bit about the fact that I'm not really doing clothing anymore, but this is an exception to the rule. I'll always go ahead and pick up sporting gear. We've got the 2017 Fiji Rugby League World Cup jersey here, size 2XL, an absolute beauty. The Sydney Swans AFL jersey, size extra large for 12 bucks. Are you kidding? I'll go ahead and take that one up, no problem at all. Gold Coast Titans as well, NRL season just about to kick off for 12 bucks, size medium, excellent condition. That's a no-brainer for me. Should get a pretty good sell-through rate on that one there. So guys, make sure that you're looking out for the sporting gear. Also found this one as well, just to complete the kit, we've got the uh, beanie here of the Sydney Swans as well. Four bucks, might only convert into 20, but I'll take it. I've also got this one as well. How nice is this to really just triple up the fines of the Sydney Swans gear? We've got some really cool Adidas shoes, but for 50 bucks, I've got to pass on that. Hey, the op shop ladies, they've missed this one here. We've got the Nike Harache women's running shoes, US size seven for 15 bucks. I'll always pick these up should sell for about 60 to 70 and then my goodness for eight dollars we've got the asics gel sonoma threes these are the gore-tex edition we're talking high end when we're talking gore-tex guys soles are looking pretty good to me so i've grabbed it also had a quick look at the dvds as i always do and i've been able to find the new trick seasons one to ten it's an instagram viewer poll question because i'm a little bit on the fence about this one would you pick it up for 30 bucks three dollars a piece it's a lot of money but i'm tempted and then i found this as well we've got the la lakers hat new era it's everything that you want to see when you're buying hats. Mitchell and Ness, it's a good one to find. However, old mate Harry Mack has put his name on it. This is why I love doing the Copper Drop segment, guys. I've put it up to you guys for new tricks. Seasons 1 to 10, and it was a 51%, 49% vote count. Super close, and for good reason. $30 for 10 DVDs, that's quite a bit of money. But when you can bundle up to almost be a complete set, you can generally get a pretty good turnaround on eBay. So I'm thinking we can get between $70 to $80 for this guy. And uh, at $30, bucks, when you take out fees and postage, you're probably only going to make about $20 to $25. So in the end, I did side with the 51%. I did go ahead and cop it. You guys know how much I love my DVDs, so I could not be saying no to that at 30 bucks. Well, guys, I've just sifted through all of these DVDs and the first thing I'm looking for is TV shows. You guys know the drill. I've had a good look through this trolley rack and 
Well, there were a couple of goodies hiding in between, so I've gone ahead and pulled these ones out that you're seeing here right now. 15 DVDs works out to 10 listings for my eBay store, and I'm only paying a dollar a piece. So $15 spent, pause the video and have a look at some of these TV shows, because if you can find the box sets in any of these, you'll do very well. I've also picked these up as well. We've got the Nike Classic Cortez here for just the $6 price point for a pair of Nikes. Thanks very much. I'll go ahead and take those away with me. Uh, we moved into the next section of women's shoes and I found these, the Brooks Adrenaline 21s. Now, these are a very nice pair of women's running shoes. If you can be finding these, you'll go ahead and do yourself very well. $6, there was a bit of wear on the sole there. Can't be doing that, unfortunately. So, soles, when it comes to shoes, very, very important. Had a look at the clothing section, guys, just for a bit of a peek. And uh, for five bucks, this one was pretty decent. I've got a genuine Ralph Lauren polo shirt, size 2XL, just for the five dollars. I think that's a pretty good price. Got the 80s two ply as well. When you're looking at Tommy Hilfiger, 80s two ply is a very good thing to find. This is just a short sleeve striped t shirt, or should I say button up, seven dollars. Again, that, that can convert into maybe 30 to 40 dollars. It's just for me, the sell through rate takes quite a while. This t shirt was just, I don't know, I just like the look of it. We've got Oceana drive uh, Australia so this is a great barrier reef t-shirt and it's just got a really sweet back print so we almost actually went ahead and made the purchase on that but it was only a size small so for that reason I did leave it behind I've got these as well we've got a pair of Levi jeans 38 waist uh, pretty much a staple item isn't it the Levi's you can never go wrong with that uh, an eight dollar purchase price I've gone ahead and picked that one up as well and this next one I really don't know why this has caught my eye the brand is Como I don't really know the brand Como ten dollars is the price point but to be honest, coming into the winter time, I'd almost rock this one myself. I just really like the look of it. Well, guys, this kit is really starting to build up nicely. Three op shop runs down. We're going to get into the last one, and hopefully we can finish it on a high. It's actually going to be another pawn shop because there's one just around the corner. So let's dive into that. We'll see what we can do. Oh my goodness, guys, do you see that sign down the bottom? 20 for $2. We're talking DVDs for 10 cents a piece. And it's not movies, TV shows are the same price. So I'm absolutely blown away by this. There is some serious opportunity to really kind of sift through and pull out the best items we can possibly find. I generally find in this sort of a scenario, when you're getting them for such a low price, it's always best to just really try and grab everything and then deal with it at home. If there's really poor quality discs, well, you can just throw them away because you're only paying 10 cents a piece. So I've gone ahead and tried to pull out every single TV show that I could possibly find here. Even double ups, I wasn't even considering that being an issue either. I was happy to pay for them and then I can deal with the double ups later on. So really continue just to sift through here and pull out some awesome TV shows. All of those entourage seasons, that was really exciting to see. These guys were pricing them up initially for $3 a piece. Then it fell down to a dollar a piece and even at one point they were 20 cents. But here we are today, getting them for 10 cents per DVD guys. So so very excited about it. The end result, I pulled out a hundred different DVDs and you guessed it, I only paid the $10. So just an unbelievable way to round out what has been just an epic day. What a haul this has turned into guys. We've just got some great items here, some really good clothing. Shoes we always do pretty well in. We've got a video game, some DVDs. The uh, the pops uh, are actually going to do pretty well, but it was this. It was this to round out the day that really sealed it. Straight out of the cash converters, no longer doing DVDs, and we have struck gold. Now, you'll see here that I have actually broken them up into all the different TV shows. There are multiple bundles here for the same show because I've just grabbed the seasons in there consecutive. So that's actually a bundle of seasons one to six of the hills, and then I've got a season four bundle, and then I've got a season three bundle there, the OC season one and two. So you can see how I've done it for every single TV show, and that's the way I'm gonna list it. These big two towers here, this one here is all individual TV shows, and this one here are all double ups of anything that you can see in here. So there are a few double ups. I'm still gonna go ahead and list them up as a bit of a bulk listing for a few that I've got absolute multiples of. Um, but still, I'm paying 10 cents a piece here, so this is, an unbelievable find to round out what has been a very good day. So if we break down the numbers, there's over 50 listings for my eBay store out of this haul. The total cost that I spent today was $172. Obviously the DVDs had a large play in keeping that cost of goods low, but that's just why I love the category. Now I think out of this haul, there's about $1,200 worth of resale value. I always account for about half of that as being my actual profit that I can put towards things like this USA trip holiday that I'm about to be going on. So 600 bucks is what we're gonna to put towards. That's now up to about $2,400 for 
for the USA Kitty, and we've still got a couple of months to go. So super exciting stuff. Very much looking forward to adding to this over the next few weeks. Hopefully you can be here to join in. I'm gonna leave a playlist on my YouTube channel as well. If you've missed any of the past week's episodes, definitely jump onto that playlist and you'll be able to catch yourself completely up to date. I'll also leave you with our last week's video right here as well to go and check out because that was an absolute doozy with another number of great items found as well. My 30% clubbers, you guys are the absolute best. Thank you very much for being here and sticking around to the very end of the vid. We'll catch you on Sunday. See you guys.